Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to my release day unboxing video for Crisis 3 and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, both on the Xbox 360. Now, of course, these are both on uh, PS3 and PC, I think. I'm not sure if Metal Gear Rising is. I know uh, Crisis definitely is, but I'm not sure about Metal Gear Rising. But uh, before someone says it, yes, I got Metal Gear Rising on Xbox. Uh, I know it's a, a pretty big PS3 game, but you know what? Whatever, I got Devil May Cry on Xbox, and that's a big PS, uh, a big PlayStation uh, property. Well, it used to be, but now it's on Xbox too, so ha. <laughs> and yeah, I got it on Xbox, I don't care. Whatever. Anyway, and Crisis 3. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing both of these. They both uh, have been getting pretty good reviews. Um, a little less than I thought. I really thought both of these games were going to get great reviews. This has like an 80 on Metacritic right now, which is a little lower than uh, Crisis 2, and a lot lower than Crisis 1. And this has like an 82. Not bad, you know, whatever. I love Platinum Games, so I was really excited about this one. I heard they were actually making it. So, uh, the first game we're going to unbox is Crisis 3. And I think I have a knife somewhere. Uh, hmm, hmm, I think I have a knife somewhere. That's a marker. I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh, uh, that's actually not a marker. <laughs> Come on. Man, I had a knife somewhere. This always happens. Come on. Knife, 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 knife. Knife. Found it. Alright. <laughs> Alright. And Crisis 3, here's the front. You got a Crisis dude, Prophet, in the front. He has his bow and arrow, the new signature weapon of the game. On the back, you got some stuff. You got uh, some screenshots of the game. The best looking shooter ever is back. And uh, I would agree with that. Uh, Crisis 3, I mean, Crisis 2 was a damn good looking game. And. Uh, I heard Crisis, Crisis 2 was a damn looking, uh, good looking game, but uh, I heard Crisis 3 is a good looking game, but uh, I've been hearing iffy things about the console versions, but uh, alright, first thing you get is the Hunter Edition unlocks, which I'm not going to show you the code there, oh, actually I don't need to, it has a little front cover to it, there you go, you get the Hunter Edition, uh, which comes with day one access to the Predator Bow, Recon Arrow, and Hunter Nano Suit module. You get five levels of bonus XP, Predator Bow camo skin, and three unique dog tags. I don't know, whatever. And it comes with like a little uh, warranty, I guess. And there's the disc. So pretty simple, pretty standard uh, EA box, I guess you could say. You know, just. Nothing really. At least it doesn't have the warranty on the back of the freaking cover art, which I hate. That's like, oh my god, that's like that's like the recycle cases of today. Remember three years ago where the recycle cases, everybody hated them? Right now, for me, the manual on the back of the cover, worst thing. I mean, I'm sorry, the warranty on the back of the cover, the worst thing right now. But uh, anyway, again, there's the front. There's, I mean, there's the back, there's the side, and there's the front. So there you go, Crisis 3. Pretty quick unboxing. And I'm trying to go a little quicker with these unboxings, uh, unboxings because last week I spent 15 minutes unboxing uh, the Collector's Edition for Aliens Colonial Marines, and uh, that was uh, unacceptable. And the next game, of course, is Metal Gear Rising. There's a front cover. You got Raiden cutting a dude in half, or actually not really, well, in half, but horizontal. well, what do you call that? Not vertically. Ah. Uh, Whatever, he, he's cutting them. He, he's dead. I mean, that, that's the most important part. He's dead. Some cool colors on the cover art. Pretty nice cover art. I like it. Um, here's the side. And here's the back. You got Raiden and I guess, I don't know, Evil Raiden. <laughs> I, I don't really know what that side is. But cut what you will. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance marks a departure from Metal Gear Solid Stealth Formula with blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of cutting. There's a lot of dude getting killed. There you go. Front, back, side. Let's open it, and uh, let me see, uh, no, that's the sharp side, alright, there we go, alright, and, do, 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 do. alright, and, first thing, oh, it actually has a manual, what, alright, first thing, you see, you got a manual, you got the disc, of course, which, that's a good thing, the disc cover art's actually a little different, than the box art, which is unusual for games. Most of the time, they just recycle the actual box art um, and just put it straight on the disc for the disc art. Uh, disc art. Uh, you got a Konami Core Loyalty Program. I'm not really sure what this is, but 
uh, oh, you can actually go and buy, oh, I got promo code to buy stuff, uh, you get a, you can buy like posters and action figures and <laughs> you can actually get a Metal Gear Solid Risk set and shirts and stuff, that's kind of cool, got a promo code there, I don't want to show it really, but that's kind of cool, it's coming soon, so you can go buy your Metal Gear Solid related items. Uh, and the manual itself is black and white, but hell, at least it comes with a manual, which not many games do nowadays. And I like a manual. I don't know. I like skimming through it. Not to learn how to play the game, but just to see what little things they put in there. Especially Metal Gear Solid. You know, Metal Gear as a series, there's always Easter eggs in the game. But, you know, you never know. There could be an Easter egg in the manual. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just like looking through it. Uh, anyway, so there's my unboxing for both Metal Gear Crisis 3. <laughs> and Metal Gear Rising. I uh, hope you enjoyed the unboxings. Look forward to another unboxing for something else coming up in a little bit. Actually, I'm sorry. You already saw that unboxing for Die Hard Collection. I forgot. I'm going to upload that before this, so sorry about that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the unboxings. Thank you, and goodbye.